All right, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to put code syntax highlighting on your website in an easy way using highlight.js. Right here I have a blog post on my website that I want to put some code snippets in. So I have this uh, HTML code for video right here coming down. I have a CSS snippet uh, to style the video controller. And then I have some JavaScript right here. I'm going to show you how to implement this all really easily. First thing I'll do is show you my ultimate Webflow resource library. We're going to want to come into code syntax highlighting here. This is all available for free. I'll drop the link in the description to get it. Uh, first thing we need is a web is an embed in Webflow or rich text field. I'm going to do this within rich text uh, within the CMS. So if I go to blog posts and then better videos in Webflow is the one I have here. I have my video embed. I have an image. And here's the first embed right here. So what we got to do is drop this embed in here. And then you're going to wrap the code you want to appear within a pre and code tags and then put the closing code um, tags down here. So you can see we've got the, the pre and the code. And then all this here is actually HTML. But it, for this to work on the web, you don't want your browser to try to interpret that HTML. So the way we do that is from the website. Let's say you have this, you know, this code existing somewhere else. I'm just going to grab it from here. Go to freeformatter.com. Uh, this is an HTML has an HTML escape tool, so I would copy my paste, copy my paste, copy paste my code right here, and click Escape HTML, and that gives me the tags with um, these these different tags. So I'll go ahead and copy that, and that's what I would paste in right here, and save. And for CSS and JavaScript, you actually don't have to do that. You can just chuck it right in there and you don't need to do anything. And then that's in there. So I'm happy with what I have in there. Let's go back to the instructions, wrap the code, import the highlight.js library from CDN and execute the uh, hljs.highlightall function. And we're gonna add it into the before the closing body tag of the website. So I, I put the script right here, but if you wanted to figure out how to do this on your own, just open a new website. First thing we're gonna do, this is the highlight.js website get version 11.6 or get whatever the latest one is when you're watching this video. I like JS Deliver. You could use any of these, really. Um, we're going to leave this link tag alone for now. We're just going to grab the script. So this is the one you want right here. Go ahead and copy this, giving me difficulty. Copy, and then if I go to the page, I'm doing this on the blog post template page, so I'll click the gear. You could see in my closing body tag, this is where I would put that script. I'm going to put an enter there. So that script goes here, just like that. And I'm using the latest version, so I subtract those. And I'll add an enter here so you can actually see what's going on again. And then we just need to actually run the, the script. So if I go back to here, and I come back, and I go to usage, you'll see they give us that, that code right here. Now here it says path to highlight.min.js. That's why we went to the CDN page for that. So you would just copy paste this back into your project here. All right, and then the other thing is we actually need the styles. Now this is interesting because they give us a bunch of themes to choose from. So choose your theme from demos. So I'll open this in another link. And right now the default theme is selected. It's this white and some basic syntax highlighting, but you can see they have a ton of different themes that you can use. And right now I'm using the GitHub dark, I believe. Let me see, dark dimmed is what I'm using, but let's say I want to change it to, uh, I like the base 16 pop. So I think this matches the, the style of my website just a little bit better. So this is a great way to view it, but now we need to actually get it. So if we come back here, we need to go to the GitHub repository. So import the CSS for your theme, by adding the link tag. Don't forget to add .min.css. Um, you can change. So what we're going to do is get a tag like this, and we're going to change the, the name from default to something else. So what I would do is let's figure out how to get to their GitHub. Usually, I imagine it would be at the bottom. Not seeing it. It's got to be somewhere. Let's just search GitHub. Highlight JS. Okay, so just make sure we're on the right one. Yep. 
I'm going to go into the source directory and then I will go into styles. And now these map to all of the styles we were checking out within the demos. I wonder if they have a link here. Oh man, it goes forever. No, no links. Anyways, back to where we were. So I want to use the base 16 and I want to use pop. All right. So what we're going to do is we know it's in the base 16 and then pop CSS. So I'll just copy paste this. And then what I would do is come back here and instead of default, just say base 16 slash pop. And then you could copy that, come back to your site. And then inside the head tag is where we're going to paste this. Save, copy, publish. and refresh, and there you have it. You can see I changed the styles, everything's updating, and that's looking great. Something else to know from the documentation, if we go back here, you can get, you can get via the CDN, which is what I prefer, but you could also come down here to custom package, and you could build this, like I'm probably only ever gonna use JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So I could get rid of everything else and have a much smaller bundle. Then I would also have to download it and serve it somewhere. Um, <clears throat> so that adds just a couple extra steps. Anyways, that's how to add syntax highlighting to your website. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe. It definitely helps me out a lot. And let me know if there's anything you wanna see tutorials on. All right, talk to you soon, yeah. bye.